All right, so we're going to look at some vectors. Let's see. So this says express 6, 3 in terms of the standard unit vectors i and j. So basically what's happening there, um, we're going to say that the vector i is the vector 1, 0. And j is the vector 0, 1. So basically they're like unit vectors. And so therefore this vector here, I'm just going to say um, is 6i plus 3j. Super simple. Um, this is the how come of how it works. And this will be important later, but it's basically just changing the form of what we have. Woo! Okay, so if something had been negative, so they give you a little, let's see, it's 6 times that plus 3 times that. So really it's just uh, kind of like short, like shorthand. All right, let's check what's next. So this is a little bit different. What I have to do is I have, so the vector u, which is negative 3, 2, so that's this one right here, and v is negative 2, negative 3, so that's this one right here. So what I have to do is figure out um, what do I have to do to get, so this is the vector, see this one right here? This is what I want. So I just have to put them together to figure it out, and this is doing it graphically. The next one is just figuring out by hand, okay, how, how do I combine these? So a linear combination just means um, basically uh, how many, so let's put this here, so like blank u, so u is negative 3, 2, plus blank v. I'm just figuring out how many of each things. Okay, so I'm going to go here and, uh, well, I'm going to just drag one of these. Okay, uh, oh, so if I do one u and two v's, oops, uh, so when I do that, I just pull on here and drag and drop right away. Ah, yes. Okay, so what made this was one u and two v's. One u and two v's. Try. Yes, okay. So then it just kind of goes through showing numerically why this is true, which is really good learning. Like, why does this work? Well, because then you have negative three, two, because there's just one of those. And then two, that would make this one be... Uh, negative 4, negative 6. And if I put those together, I get negative 7, negative 4. Yeah. Okay, so now I can submit. All right, let's see what the next one looks like. I'm just going to try another one. Uh, next problem. So uh, here is V, so that's negative 1, negative 1. And here is U. Ugh. Uh, which is 2, negative 1. Okay, um, I think that I am probably going to have to, uh, there's a whole bunch of ways I could get there. I can zig and I can zag. Um, I'm going to say, uh, which one is this? Is that, that is you. Mm, I think there's going to be a couple of those. So I drag and drop. Oh, and then this one, uh, I think there's going to be one more. Yeah, okay, V is next, except for it's facing the wrong direction. So what do I have to do? I have to negate it. That really means I'm going to subtract it. And so then, oh, look, it got there. So I did three U's and a negative V. So uh, three U's and a negative V. Because that, oops, a negative one, V. Okay, so try. Yep. Okay, why, why does that work? Well, because I've got 6, negative 3, and, ooh, minus. So that makes plus negative 1 times negative 1 plus 1 plus 1. See, because then if I look over here, I'm pointing at it. You can't see that I'm pointing at it, but uh, it goes up 1, right 1. So I plus 1, 1. And does that give me 7, negative 2? It sure does. Whoop. Okay, so I can submit the answer. Now, the next thing is, yes, I'm sure. The next thing is this. Uh, however, we do it without the picture. So we started looking at pictures. Now we just do it algebraically. Okay, so I'm going to shrink this down in here. Let's go to a new one. Okay, so I've got u is 2, negative 5. 
and v is negative 1, negative 3. Now you might just be able to figure out, okay, we got to get it to 8, 2. This is our goal. Okay, I am going to draw it because um, if you can see it without drawing, awesome. Okay, but I struggle with that. So let's do this. Okay, I'm going to pause and pull something. I'll be right back with uh, a good little graph. All right, I'm back. So um, I need to see this. Um, if I had more practice, I would probably be able to just like put them together numerically. But do you see this? Like because this is negative, this is positive. Like something's got to happen. So I think that I'm going to flop these. I'm going to do like a negative V. Oof a negative v because if I did a negative v that would be 1 and 3 and I think that that would undo so u let's try to make u uh, so u would be 2 negative 5 so 2 1 2 3 4 5 okay that's that and then v but I'm going to make it go the other way. So let's make this, I don't know, like red. Uh, positive 1, 3. And I have to get it to, like my whole goal of where I want to get it to is 8, 2. 8, 2. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, um, I'm just gonna grab that little guy, duplicate it. And if I do that. Hmm. Okay, that's not gonna get me there. Okay, so what if I took this one. So I literally am just guessing and just checking. So I'm going to push pause while I guess it. Like I just have to get it to 8, 2. I have to do something to these. So I'm going to pause it while I figure it out because you don't need to see the whole thought process. You've seen me start the process. So uh, I'm going to push pause and figure it out and come back. All right, I figured it out. Did you see I made that vector wrong? Uh, so this, if I make the V backwards, it should be 1, 3, which actually looks like these red ones. So I just had to keep making it. So I had to go two of the two negative five ones, and I did one, two, three, four of these. So um, that would be so two, two of the u's, two u's minus four of the v's. Uh, so you might be able to do that numerically if you can. That is awesome. I had to draw it, and both are good ways. There you go. That is how you do all sorts of vector linear combinations. Hopefully I got it right. I like was going to push pause, but yep. Woohoo!